I don't know about you, but I grew up with film cameras and physically printing out my photos. I've spent many years wanting to get a photo printer, but the idea of having this big machine with all of the maintenance that goes along with it just didn't sound very appealing. Thankfully, there are portable photo printer options out there, such as the Kodak Mini 3 Retro, which I think is the best travel photo printer. Best of all, it's an instant photo printer that fits in your pocket. If you have big pockets anyway. In my case, it's my bag that it fits inside of. In this video, I'm going to tell you why I love this printer so much and show you how to set it up and use it. Now the first thing you'll notice about this photo printer is how small it is. It looks kind of like a hard drive, but the retro design with the classic Kodak logo is really what makes this printer stand out. There are three different color options, white, yellow, and black. And I'm not gonna lie, I kind of wish I'd gotten yellow just to really hone in on that retro feel. But black is pretty cool too. But anyway, besides looks, this photo printer has super minimal controls, which makes it really easy to use. There's a power button on one side, and there's also a micro USB port for charging the device. There's also a slot for the ink cartridge and a slot for the printed photos to go through. So far, the only downside is that I wish this printer could be charged via USB-C instead of micro USB, but hey, it's nice to have a rechargeable battery. Speaking of the battery, it fully charges in about 90 minutes, and when it is charged, it lasts long enough to produce about 25 printed photos. When you first unbox this printer, the first thing you want to do is charge it. After it's fully charged, take out the cartridge that's inside of it by opening the compartment door and sliding it out and replacing it with a fresh cartridge. I love this whole process because it's kind of reminiscent of changing out the film roll in a camera. Very retro. Next, go to your smartphone and download the Kodak Instant Print app. It's available for either iOS or Android. The printer has Bluetooth and it connects wirelessly to your phone to figure out which photos to print. Unfortunately, there's no desktop computer option at the moment. There's also some photo editing options, and you can even add some stickers and little pieces of design. So after you install the app, make sure that it connects to the printer via Bluetooth, and then go to the gallery to select the photo that you want to print out. The app is pretty responsive and it does a really good job of keeping you updated on the whole process because it takes about 50 seconds or so to print out a photo. Now I don't know if all photo printers work this way, but I was captivated by the printing process of this little Kodak. It uses four pass dye sublimination printing technology which I'm not exactly sure what that means, but the four pass part means that the printer moves back and forth four times. The first three sets print the ink colors, and the fourth set gives the photo a clear coating for protection. And the resulting photo dries really fast, so you don't have to worry about smearing any of the colors. The printed photo is also laminated, so the final step makes it water resistant and smudge resistant. So how's the photo quality? Well, in terms of the paper, I think it's really nice. It's not super thick, like not a Polaroid, but it is a really nice piece of photo paper. And the colors look really good. They're nice and vibrant, which is how I like my photos. And the image is really sharp. Is it the highest quality printed photo ever? Well, no, but then again, this is a really small budget-friendly printer. So you have to set your expectations right. But I think for something like scrapbooking or taking photos of my family and keeping track of my son as he grows all the time, then this is the perfect size and quality for the type of photos that I want to print out. Looking at the results, you might notice one possible downside to this printer. It only prints out 3 inch by 3 inch square photos. This can be a deal breaker if you're wanting photos of another size or aspect ratio. But I think it's also a fun challenge to make like retro Instagram and try to compose your photos in a square. Cost-wise, this printer is 120 US dollars for the printer and eight photo sheets. Now the best deal though is to get the $140 bundle which gives you the printer plus 68 photo sheets. And compared to other photo printers out there, the average running cost of the Mini 3 Retro ends up being about 30 cents per photo, which isn't too bad. 
So in conclusion, photo printing can seem like it's really tedious and expensive and really hard to do, but thanks to instant photo printers such as the Kodak Mini 3 Retro, it's super simple and nice and portable. This is a great travel-friendly option, and currently I'm using it to print out these photos that I'm using to make a scrapbook of Julian since he's almost one year old. Can you believe it? And also, this is so great for travel like I said. So if you're going on a trip to see friends or family, this is a great thing to stick in your carry-on and be able to shoot some photos and print them out as little souvenirs for your friends and family. Or if you're traveling and you're meeting people on the road and you're taking photos and people want to see what they look like, well, you can print them out a little snapshot as a gift for them. So I think that there's a lot of application to this little photo printer. Best of all is how cute and retro this thing looks, and it's nice and portable, which I definitely love for all of my camera gear. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you into photo printing, or do you prefer to keep everything digital? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.